Big picture, though, we are at this place right now where we are supposedly a, a two-party, two-major-party democracy. That's been the source of stability and continuity in our democracy for centuries now. And we are now quite suddenly and clearly at this place where the two parties have totally different tasks at hand. And on the Republican side, it is some scary and kind of unnerving stuff about whether or not they are a party that endorses violence and whether they are a party that still believes that democracy and elections are the way that we decide things as a country. On the Democratic side, they're just trying to govern and they're trying to figure out how to get something done without having to deal with that dumpster fire on the other side, because how can that be your governing partner? However much we tend to treat politics as a horse race and a, and a numbers game in terms of how many seats on each side and how much elections have consequences based on you know, how many people are on each committee, right? Once the consequences are that you are in control of both houses of Congress and the White House, the thing that's most key to your political success is to, to show whether you can do good things for the country with your power, whether you can get stuff done. The Republican Party is having a very different crisis right now. The Democratic Party is trying to figure out how to deliver. And that makes the task of the Democratic Party totally different than what's happening on the other side. It makes it sort of earnest and civic right now, but also incredibly important as to whether or not we're going to have a Republican in the future. Because on the Republican Party, that's not the way they are approaching the nation's problems right now. The Democrats have to prove they can do this or they're going to have to contend with the dumpster fire over there again in terms of what the people of the United States have to choose from between the two options available to them. Just an incredible situation that we are in. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.